When you use downgrade, you can quickly revert to the old release before you did the uh, upgrade without losing any data. It's usually faster than using data pump to fall back. You can downgrade days or weeks after an upgrade without losing any data. The only considerations are you incur some downtime, you can't raise compatible, you need the same time zone files on the source and destination as discussed earlier, and you can't use any new features of the, uh, the upgrade. Now, some people might expect a downgraded database to be exactly the same as it was, but that just isn't so. We remove things from the dictionary with the downgrade script so that would prevent the database from working as it had worked before. However, you will find views and other things in a downgraded database that weren't in the original release before upgrade. For instance, you might find new dictionary tables that were not dropped but were truncated, new indices that are not dropped, and in general, uh, dropping is avoided uh, whenever possible. Still, downgrade process guarantees that the database functions and operates as it had prior to the upgrade downgrade process. Again, compatible state is the key phrase here. We emphasize this because we encounter customers from time to time who are scratching their heads about their downgraded database not being exactly the same as it was before. So these are the releases to which you can downgrade from 19C. You'll notice if you have a CDB environment, you can only go back as far as 12.1.0.2, since 11.2 had no CDB architecture. These are the releases to which you can downgrade from 21C. You'll see that 11.2.0.4 is not included at all. This is again because 21C always uses the CDB architecture, and again, there's no CDB architecture in 11.2. Now this slide describes the flow of actions for a downgrade with the source environment on the left and the environments to which you upgraded on the right. Now you want to perform a downgrade. First, on the upgraded database on the right, you start up in downgrade mode by executing the command startup downgrade, which is a special command for database downgrades. Then you initiate the downgrade process. The downgrade script, cat downgrade, will convert or revert the changes in the dictionary, which completes pretty fast. And then when that's done, you perform a shutdown immediate. Then you switch to the old pre-upgrade environment on the left by starting the database in upgrade mode, executing the startup upgrade command. When, then you run the cat reload script, which will reload the PLSQL engine, the procedures, code, etc. When that completes, you run the UL, UTLRP script to recompile anything that is invalid. And again, this usually happens pretty quickly because most things are uh, correctly set already. And now your database is successfully downgraded. You can do a final check with the select star from V$ version to confirm this. This is a final important point. You do not roll back patches before ground, uh, downgrading not release upgrade updates, not release update revisions, not one-off patches. 